want to provide I want to provide a brief demonstration of a software toolkit I've written to allow bi-directional communication with um, non-jailbroken iPhones and iPods uh, with the 2.0 software development kit from Apple. Um, this illustrates the, the integration, in particular this demo will illustrate the integration of uh, the toolkit into the Wolfenstein 3D uh, port recently released by ID. Um, and it will allow movement and firing to be controlled by a vir virtual joystick I've developed. <clears throat> Uh, first, though, we do want to thank um, ID for the port and the source code uh, to Wolfenstein 3D. It made this demonstration possible. Um, uh, so if I if I start Wolfenstein 3D here, <clears throat> see it loads. Um, And um, the toolkit actually now is currently polling um, for communication from the virtual joystick. Um, but you will notice, however, that the program itself actually is just as usable as it was if you were to run it without uh, the integration that we've developed. Um, you'll see here it's uh, very responsive. Uh, you can still um, use the touch joystick um, as you would if you were um, if this particular toolkit had not been in integrated. <clears throat> just to show the usability that, that does exist currently. So we'll actually start then the joystick here on this iPhone, <clears throat> uh, Wolfenstick affect, affectionately dubbed. Um, so it loads. <clears throat> and you'll notice then it, it kind of starts to determine the connection between the two devices. Um, and at, when this starts, accelerometer information now is being sent and that's how you use uh, communicate and then control the the uh, the game. So notice here is uh, two two things. See, we can move forward and backwards. For example, turn right, left. All very responsive, very very much usable. Um, and additionally, you also notice the synchronization with the health bar and the ammo um, in particular. So that communicates the bi-directional communication that exists between these two applications. Um, and then again, we can actually fire. Um, so for example, we can fire, hold down, fire. He'll stab continuously. Um, and again, what we'll do here is collect some ammo, if we can find some. Uh, actually, we'll stab this guard here. All right, so we've collected some ammo. So now we have four ammo. You'll notice here immediately it was updated the communication. Then we can additionally fire, shoot this guard. Now we have zero ammo. Um, so Let's actually allow a guard to shoot us, if we can. If we can find one. There's one. And, and so you'll notice seven here and seven. And then we've died, actually, so our health goes to zero. So in this case, the game restarts. Now we have 100 health, 16 ammo. Again, um, you can move backwards, forward, sideways. Again, just as responsive as um, the game play is without the integration, um, so I think this is a very unique toolkit. Uh, unfortunately, we will not probably be releasing this application. It's really merely a demonstration of the technology that we've created here um, and that we, um, we're uh, developing um, on our website. Uh, we provide more details and specifics, but again, also you'll notice simply communication occurs through this audio cable. It's actually a crossover cable to facilitate on the, the bi-directional communication, but um, it's quite simple to develop if, if one were interested. So again, all of these, uh, all this is available, information about this is available on our website, alexwinston.com, and uh, we hope this is a unique and interesting demonstration of the technology that exists already and, and can be made available on the 2.0 platform. Uh, we think though that the 3.0 platform um, will only enhance this kind of capability and so we kind of hope to lead the field when it comes to integration uh, such as this.